I'm Jonathan Alexander, archaeological investigator and producer of Mystic Places Magical Mystery Tour. In 2019, I had the opportunity to travel to Palpa, Nazca, Peru, and make an interview with the discoverer of the so-called tridactyl Nazca mummies of Peru. This is a quite fascinating case, and at the time, nobody else had released an interview of him, and I released the first ever interview with the discoverer of the Nazca mummy shortly after making it and traveling to the cave site. However, I released the video in Spanish and the audio was very unclear. So today we're going to be taking a new look at that video, republishing it with uh, AI overdub in English so that you'll be able to understand what it is that he had to say that he wanted to relate to you about this case. Let's see, I'm going to tell you the history of what so many are talking about, the Nazca case of the so-called Nazca mummies, this. Well, I was looking for some minerals in these mining fields in some areas, and well, I came across this cave that had a pile of stone covering it. Out of my curiosity, I began to remove the stones, and well I realized that inside there was this white material that I didn't know what it was about, at that time it occurred to me maybe it was lime. And when I removed it, it was something soft that crumbled. So, I continued removing and removing, and almost half a meter inside, I began to find some very round stones, round stones. I thought that this was possibly a field from an old mining work, that had been around there and it had been left abandoned. And I was not surprised either that it was was covered, but with what it contained. I left there and with time I went back, time and time again and what was coming out, being surprising, there was something like some kind of a dried beings or some species of dried animal and a kind of dried fetus, and it seemed strange to me, it seemed very strange to me. So, it contained some more stones in the shape of maybe like toads, and stones in the shape of circles, and some things like claws. I didn't know at the time, but well now I know, that they are hands, tridactyl hands. This because of the three fingers, and I kept removing for a while but I had to go to my job because I work in Puno, I was working in Puno I said, when some gentleman came looking for me, some gentleman who belonged to the group, Inkari. Then they convinced me well that what this was, that it was some very strange things. There came a day that I could show them, I could show them. And I realized that they were no longer just three or four people. But they were like ten or twelve people who had arrived at a house here in Palpa, and I could show them, and I showed it all to them there, what I had found. And the truth is that I did not know at all what it was about. was not something that I have never seen in my life, I have never seen anything so very strange, and they talked about a non-human being, that was not from the face of the earth. And so they started asking to um, borrow some of the stuff, and so I came about to lend it to them, and then they um, well took it to Cusco for some time. And then after a little while had passed, and then by much surprise, after a time it happened, that they had made an announcement, and they had put out in the news, about this, about these things. Then a friend informed me that they were looking for a place where there had been found some extraterrestrial beings or, something they were calling them like that. And after having them there a time, maybe three or four weeks just after a few more weeks they returned them from there to me. And there was already some very strong comments being made about what they were calling it, and it was being said that I was the person who had discovered it. There were YouTubers who said that this here was something very strange, that it was not normal because it was not from Earth. And that it was an incredible and huge find. And then this that they were looking for the location of discovery. I imagine that the residents of Ica and people who are dedicated to desecrating would look for it. 
Because there was a reward, they say for knowing the sad in the same way there was a reward for me, for knowing who was the one who had found it. And wow! They have talked about gold masks and of gold things, things that I never found there. These are things that I never never found there, the only things that I found is what I have showed to these gentlemen. And what has appeared in other videos, these things in others videos, I don't know where they got it. Or if it is from here? But I want to return the bodies, for fear of having problems, I have problems. And, and I knew that surely for certain these beings were not from here, that they were going to cause me harm, not this. They an internal harm, no, but because they told me, that they were sacred entities, yes entities. And that is very 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 sacred, so I had to have a lot of respect for this subject, because I don't work in the field of mysticism, no? And I want to continue to assure you, that, the things, that I found, they were, were not ever made by me, and that no one made them and gave them to me, what I found in this site is on what these gentlemen have made their investigation. And I have nothing to do with the subject of rather other things that appear similar or really related or of cases that appear similar or let's say almost the same or related or not. It's not my problem I have nothing to do with it. I have a legal process for this case that has really moved me a lot and we are waiting for the decision of the authorities and well, we will know over time. But it is a process that continues still today. And with the passing of time I will be going through that process. And the gentleman from Cusco, they paid for all their own expenses, when they came and were here, they took their photographs and all those things. And I want to make it very clear that I never received a single dollar, or a single soul, from the foreigners, or from this group from Cusco. And I understand that, it has been commented about that they have made these conferences, and books, that many comment that they are gaining many millions of dollars. And how is it possible, that they could have not given me anything? And the truth, and only the truth I know, regarding that. Well, I feel a little uncomfortable because it seems that there are people who practically have profited from this theme with this story. And I don't even want to be a part of this of this story because it has caused me problems, it has caused me many problems, I would be happy if you I didn't have any problems, but this changed my life totally. My family life, my social life and in my work, in all all areas. And now they are investigating. They will continue to investigate the subject and well. And I am also one of the people who hope that the truth is known about what it is. This that I found. I am going to repeat this again. This was never ever done by me. They say were not made by me. And no one put them together and gave them to me. As many are saying, the people who are contradictory to this case. I am going to repeat it again. I am also on the side of the investigators that it be investigated and that it be discovered what it really is that I found. I don't know. I do not know if they ever walked. If they flew. If they crashed. And I do not know if they were constructed somewhere in the ancient past, or some claim maybe someone made it recently and put it there. Also, let me tell you that I have nothing to do with the subject, that this is false. That is all. Since 2019, as an archaeological investigator and filmmaker, I've had the opportunity to personally investigate a lot of aspects of this fascinating case of the Nazca tridactyl mummies here in Peru. 
um, in person myself. I became friends with uh, Leandro Riviera, the discoverer, and have visited multiple times at his home. And I've been to the cave site of the discovery of this uh, fascinating find. I've also examined many of the artifacts and many of the biological specimens relating to this case. And in, in my investigations of these uh, interesting pieces in this find, I've had the opportunity to examine and film and photograph many of these um, very, very fascinating, to say the least, artifacts. And I'm going to be presenting them in a new series of Mystic Places Magical Mystery Tour episodes in which in English we'll be taking a look at these uh, artifacts and specimens and my exploration of the Diatomea Cave in Palpa and many other videos that I'm going to be presenting soon. So please be sure to give us a like and follow us and uh, if you will uh, click on the PayPal donation link below and drop us a small donation. Your donations help keep us going and making many more fascinating archaeological documentaries like this one and the ones that you've been seeing recently in the field exploring archaeological sites, Inca, pre-Inca sites, petroglyphs, and we'll have many more fascinating episodes coming to you in the next few months. Thank you for watching.